Pastor Ryan here. I wanted to start um, off this new portion of worship as we talk about our our faith share. Uh, we talk about joy share, which really is an under uh, an overflow of the abundance of our hearts, the joy that God, God has given us to be able to share with others. And so once a month we have joy share. Um, and I think we ought to talk about our faith share. What, is it, what does it mean for us to share our faith? And so I will use a similar term, um, but just like joy shares, uh, this is really something that we do together. It's the importance of, of what we each do. And so I wanted to tell you a little bit. I have permission to share this, but it, it was to be shared anonymously. And so I don't want to give too many details. But I was, I was talking to someone recently in our church um, who I would call a senior saint, certainly has lived a good portion of life has lived certainly more than more than half of her life, and uh, she's come, overcome a lot in her life. She she uh, talks about even her difficulties as a child of uh, of poverty and a broken a home that she grew up in, and and um, and just difficulties. But she lives life now uh, with a great joy and a great sense of purpose. And and there are a lot of things that a lot of ways that we would say, well, it doesn't it doesn't seem like a the most joyous circumstance. And yet for her, she has said that, that she really feels that God has, has put her where he needs her for a purpose. And she's always thought that. And so it's amazing to me. She says, you know, it takes small things, kind things to be a Christian because you can say you're a Christian, but not do anything. And, and, and we have to do something. And so she just began to recount little things that she does little ways in which she finds people in her life who need a friend. And she says, hey, can I get to know you? And and we'll be a friend to people. And, and I just think that that's so important. It's amazing to me to see her joy in life. Uh, she is someone who, uh, when you talk to her, is a delight. Uh, but she has she has real struggles and real difficulties. She's, she's lived a difficult life, and she would tell you, um, you know, growing up in that circumstance of, of poverty in a broken home and her parents actually not taking her to church. She was the one that took herself to church. And, um, and I just think it's important for us uh, as a church, for each and every one of us to know and for you to think now, right now for yourself, you know, where is it that God has put you in your life to be able to reach other people? Um, find those places, find a way on a daily basis, say, God, how can you use me today? And for us to live out our faith. Um, ponder that. Think about that. Let us break down this barrier, this wall between what we do at worship on Sunday, which is vitally important for our spiritual walks, and the discipleship, the way that we walk daily with Christ. Amen.